Hello YouTube, this is the finished memory board. Uh, this is similar to the stack in that it has four SEM, four LS, one six ones. Uh, again, these are split up into two 8-bit registers. Uh, we have some glue logic here to take into account carries, overflow carries, and loads. Uh, some buffers here. Um, here is the memory IC. Uh, here it is connected to the breadboard, again, over the ribbon cable. Um, an interesting feature about Titan is that the whole 64K of viewable memory is configurable. So using this 74LS30, which is an 8-input NAND gate, we can select any address and map it onto a various I.O. cards. Um, this happens by whenever, whenever one of the 8 inputs uh, goes low, then the buffer and memory IC are disconnected from the bus, and the particular I.O. card is then connected to the bus, and then Titan reads or writes from that, as opposed to this. So at the moment the clock is running, uh, we can view the output of memory, so here we can see there's just random junk filled in the memory. Uh, we can also view the high byte of the stack uh, program counter, sorry, and then we can also view the low byte which we will see incrementing. So there's nothing particularly exciting. Oh, and we can clear it back to zero again. And then we can view the output of memory. So now that this board is finished, all the, and all the other boards are finished, I can now start on the control logic or microcode sequencer. Thanks for watching.